This textured stitch right here is called the slip stitch heel and people use it to make a textured and sturdy and stretchy heel flap. And it looks nice, right? It has these columns of slipped stitches. And see how stretchy it is? So that's really nice if you, you know, are not exactly sure about the the width of someone's heel that you're making their sock for. <clears throat> you don't have to change really a whole lot to make the sock larger, right? It'll fit pretty much any any foot because it's so stretchy. And it's really easy to, right? All you have to do is knit and slip and purl. So it's a series of two rows. The first row on the right side row looks like this. Slip one, just like this, purl wise. Knit one. And we just repeat that all the way down. Slip one, knit one. Oops, I'll show you American style too in a minute. Just like that. Slip one, knit one. Slip one, knit one. Make sure that you end with a knit one, okay? Um, your heel flap should have an even number of stitches, so that shouldn't be a problem. All right, go ahead and turn your work. Um, if you're knitting a sock, you're gonna have like the rest of the sock right here, the instep, that's okay, just leave it, let it hang out. Move your yarn to the front, we're gonna purl, and let's do slip one again, like that. And then we're gonna purl the rest of the stitches all the way across. When, when instructions say slip one, purl across, they don't mean slip one, purl one, slip one, purl one, slip one, purl one across. If they did, it would have an asterisk or those instructions would be in parentheses, but a lot of people get confused, and if you do that, um, it's not gonna work. <laughs> Your slip stitches will get all, they'll get all bunched up and really angry at you. It just won't, it won't go. So we just purl the rest of the row on the wrong side. It's that easy. It's so easy. Okay, so let's look at this American style and I'll answer some questions that you may possibly have about doing the heel stitch this way. Let's go ahead and slip one and knit. Alright, slip one and knit. And basically the most common one is you forget where you are, which sounds incredible, right? Because it's only two steps, right? Slip one, knit one. You forget where you are. So there's two things that you can do. The first one is to look at your yarn, your working yarn, and take a look at it where it's attached. Give it a tug. You can see that it's connected to this loop right there. You just made that loop. You just knitted it. Um, if you've slipped one, it's going to look like this. You're going to tug your yarn and it's going to be attached back here to this stitch. So you can just count forward, knit one, slip one, it's time to knit now. And on this heel flap you can also look at your knitting and see what it's time to do, right? These columns here are the slipped stitches. So you can just look down and look for the stretched out stitches and say, ah, I need to slip it again. Right here. Slip, knit, and slip knit. All right, and the second question that people have is why do I have to slip the first stitch of every row? And I generally do that, like on scarves and everything that I knit flat, I think it looks better, but here we have a specific, oh, I said I was gonna do an American style, didn't I? Okay. There we go. Um, we have a specific reason for slipping the first stitch of every row on the heel flap, and that is because we're gonna be picking up and knitting stitches along the side. And slipping the first stitch makes it really easy to do that. And I'm going to show you why when we get to the end. All right. So you can see this heel flap is pretty easy. It's a nice way to add a little bit more interest to your top-down socks. Okay, or any sock that has a heel flap, basically. And let's take a look at the side here. 
there's um, there's our row of slip stitches and you can see they're nice and elongated. It's going to be easy to pick up and knit into that stitch when the time comes. So that's why you have to slip the first stitch of every row. And there's our slip stitch heel flap.